Welcome to another Scratch tutorial. This is the second advanced tutorial for Scratch users that are a bit better at Scratch and have used it for a while. Today we will be taking a look at grid snapping, which is where, as you can see, the X and Y position up here, and you can see that it only goes to tens, uh, meaning that it skips all the individual units and it just snaps straight to where you want it to be, rather than going through all of the ones to get there. This is very useful for multiple things, including where you create artwork that's a bit more precise. Um, and this is what we'll be making today. But before we um, get into that, I'm going to quickly tell you that I'll be not be making any videos next week due to the fact that I'm going on holiday. Um, so this is going to be the first one um, for a week. And then I'll be back on uh, two weeks' time. Okay, let's get straight into it. So the first thing we want to do is go to Costumes, uh, Delete Costume 2, and import the baseball. This is in Things. So if we double click on that and get rid of the cat completely, and then we want to go into Looks, and we want to find Set Size and put that to 50%. This just makes it easier to see the effect that we're having on the ball, um, and it's a lot clearer and it takes up less of the screen. Next thing we want to do is we want to go to control and we get our green flag and then pull out a forever. I'm just going to tidy that up with clean up. And next we get to the actual script which commands all of this. So um, if we go to motion and we pull out go to x, y, and now we will start making the script that makes the grid snapping. Okay, so first we want a times 10. So if we find that, and we just put 10 in the second one. Next, um, in the first uh, bit of the times 10, we need to put in round, which is in operators. And in that round, we need to put another divide 10. And so we, uh, in the second part of the divide, we put 10, obviously. And in the first part, we put mouse x. Now, if I have time at the end of the video, I'll break down what this does. But for now, we will just take it and duplicate it and put it into y. Um, but the only difference is we need to change the mouse x to mouse y. So if we just pull out mouse y in sensing and hover over the bit um, in the, the Y script that says mouse X and just uh, release and it will change it from mouse X to mouse Y and we can just delete the mouse X so if we just put the X part of the script back in then we've got a fully working script um, and I will quickly uh, go into motion and click the boxes of X position and Y position so we can see them I will show you that our ball is snapping to the correct coordinates like we want it to, which is very good. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly break down the script I have here so you can see what it's doing. So as you can see, it uses the round script to, um, it, we use it to kind of like clean up. So if it's a point two, then it rounds it to the nearest integer. So what we're doing here is we are, um, first of all, dividing it by 10, and then rounding it. So if, for example, um, the mouse x was on um, 53, it would divide it by 10, turn it into 5.3, and then round it to 5. Then it would times it by 10, and you'd end up with 50. So if it, the mouse was on 53, um, it would snap to 50 instead. And it does the same thing for mouse y. Um, we might be using this in later tutorials, as it's a very useful technique and um, something that you need to know if you want to do advanced programming in Scratch. Okay, so thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have, maybe leave me a like, or a comment, or subscribe. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one in about a week.